Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Omar Altwini and today I'm going to talk about a very important topic that will focus on missing data and what the imputation techniques of the data using our environment. At the end of this video, we will understand what's the meaning of no data or missing data in our data set. Worth to mention that this video is not for only the GIS users, but it is most general topic for most of the people who are working on the data or statistical data or attributes, tables. So this topic will be really, will be focused and cover a lot of aspects for most of the users. We will learn how to effectively impute missing data and to learn the common methods for that imputation. Also become familiar with the data uncertainty sources. Then you will be able to decide wisely and scientifically which is the best imputation method that is suitable for your data. Now let's talk about missing data and what is the missing data. So usually when you start to work, first you start to collect the data from different data sources. Some of them will be government data sources, some of them will be uh, private agencies. You will notice that some attributes like in the table here, you see when you are getting this data, you download this data, you see there are some gaps in the attributes. Then you think that, oh, what should I do here? What should I put inside those issues? Some of them maybe one cell, some of them 10 cells. Sometimes or most of the times if you have a date data here, so you have a monthly or daily So whenever you have a hourly data, you will see there are too many missing data So we will try to say okay, I will take a daily data then I will avoid this problem But the problem is still there because you still have a missing data within our record so then people start to blot the data and they get shocked that there is no continuity in the not. So if you notice here on the left side hand, we have a, a blot data with the date, but we'll see here the missing data. You notice here we have almost two years missing data. And you see here, so some quick solution. They will try to take a linear relationship between the last point and the starting point from the following data set, which is Logically, if you notice here how is the trend and behavior of this line, it definitely won't follow this linear relationship. So, what's the common ways of solving this problem in a better way, in more scientific way? So, in this video, I will show you some techniques that is really useful and you can rely on them to reduce some of the missing data. Worth to mention that Missing data or no data, this is one of the main sources of the uncertainty. Uncertainty will start from the missing data or the unknown data resources. So whenever you are not sure about the data, at the same time, if you have a missing data, you don't expect a high accuracy level of your model in the end of the story. So keep your eyes on this small aspects and we will count on them step by step during the video. In general, before we go in details, I want to mention that in our data, usually we have raster data, vector data for our GIS users. At the same time, also we have a special data, that's mean attribute data represented by tables. So in mapping, the techniques has a different way. Even the imputation or there's, there's a different style we call it geo imputations but in the attribute table and this is today we will focus only on the attributed data that's mean how to deal with the tables uh, the story is different so for example in, in mapping always you return and then no data that when you don't have uh, any specific cell location information so you will ignore the no data and compute the available values for that specific cell location and I will show this in example now. We notice here, we have a raster image 
and we have a background so i i just added this frame just to show you the story here so let's just remove it so now anywhere else it's no data so if you take the cursor and try to read the pixel number here you see there is no data here there is no value the pixel value here is unknown it's not zero it's not hundred it's unknown we don't know even if you come here for example in some areas between the cells it's showing that no data while you are coming here you have the values of the object and pixel and so on I wanted to show you that the border of no data what is this border now this frame it's showing that for example sometimes in Excel you are you are having five attributes five rows two columns you have some data here but actually Excel has a thousands of cells which is empty so he said when I export this data to a software what about this empty data with Excel it has thousands of rows and columns so the the software will just focus on the matrix or the data frame within the age of this raster so this is what the software will take in the competition we just focus on the no data within a frame within you see I just put a border here so I resize this frame with the extent of the raster anything else here yes it's no data but you see when I put it within this frame software will not focus on this information software just will focus on the data within this frame okay so this is easy now this is just for you to understand where is the no data no data always it's started from the upper right and lower left of the extent of the shape okay so this is the data the elsewhere no data let's go back to our So now we are ready to go. Now we are ready to go to R. Actually, just uh, worth to mention that you need to do some cleaning here, then to avoid some uh, extra cleaning or extra comments in R. For example, now you see wherever we have this dash here, that's mean there is no data. Zero, yes, data, but here dash. So you try to clean this data using Control F, replace. Whatever, whenever you have this sign here, you replace with empty. So replace, replace all. Okay. Now you see now most of the data has. If you don't have a data, you have an empty cell. Again here you see that even for the rain data. Okay. So this is for the uh, events. You have rain thunderstorm uh, here this is missing here you have rain fog also we try to deal with this data even though using the categorical data actually it is not that uh, uh, strong actually for data imputation especially you can see there is a lot of missing here so this data usually we are uh, we should decide that when to reject the data and when to accept the data for example this kind of data I will reject it because maximum we have here uh, three months data so if you have almost 15 days missing data that is not useful so also you should decide when to keep the data and when to reject the data and this issues here for example like this we have no problem we try to manage this but here no it's dangerous so I will keep this just to show you how the software will uh, do with this kind or uh, how the software will process this kind of data whether it uh, has a limited or very simple missing attributes or a huge amount of missing data
So what is this MD button? Let's check. Yes. Because it should be after the mice library within the mice package. Uh, MD button, it will show you that wherever you have a missing data and how much the percentage of it. For example, what is this sort of numbers here? This data is said you have 27 cells which has no missing data and it is common between among all the variables 27 rows all of them sharing that they have a data inside of them okay so zero here that's mean it's all has a data without missing and you have one row it has a missing data with temperature high okay and rest of data complete and you have four rows has a zero inside temperature L while we have all complete data and like this and you have for example 40 rows it has a zero uh, or it has a missing data with the events so zero it's mean missing data here and one it's, it's mean data okay so and you can understand like this so it's it just will give you a general description for your data and here this one is the total number of missing data so this is total missing value we have uh, 147 uh, missing value and most of this data it's accumulated with the events and this is uh, true because if you check the events yes, it has the biggest amount of missing data okay and followed by humid high so if you follow the humid high also it has too much of missing data and this table actually if you, now because we have a simple data if you have a huge ta uh, table you will see that this indicator will be very easy for you uh, definitely within the date data we don't have any missing because it's just in indicating the dates okay